Okay, this morning we're headed out of Point Loma Sport Fishing. We're on the new low end. <laughs> You're not in it. But you can be. Hey, we're fishing again out on the new low end with Lori, and we got Rob over here. Hey, wait, what's your name, man? Yeah. <laughs> gonna be exciting. We're going on the new low end. Look at all these guys. We're getting lined up. We leave at 10 o'clock today. We are going to have a great trip. Catch some giant bluefin tuna. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. All right. And it's funny because didn't I see you on another trip? Well, that was just last week. It was last week. What boat was that on? I can't tell you. I go on too many boats. I know. We but were just fishing together last weekend. I, what I know is between you and Rob and me, we caught 90% of the fish. It was a ranger. Yeah. Nope. No, it was a relentless. The relentless, ah. that's what it was. We had a great time. I went on your channel and I checked it out. Okay, and I posted a video last night that you're in, and I got one posting Friday tonight. Great. Well, that you're check in. it out. All really right. appreciate it. We're gonna kick we're gonna get some really good fish. We're gonna have a great time. Good luck. Hey, if you guys like these videos, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe! All right, here we go. Getting ready to head out on the new low end. It's gonna be a great trip. Everybody's getting loaded up. Last name, Rob? Tressler. Rob Tressler, he's gonna show us how to tie. What's this knot called? Oh, the Springer knot. I should okay. show you that. Actually. Okay, this is the Springer knot. He just tied one up. It looked like a pretty fascinating it's knot, a, so it's we're going to watch this right here. Knot, and basically all you do is go through the top, um, and then you put it around your finger like so, and through the top one more time. And the key is is um, not to have the lines cross each other, okay? So they're laying side by side. Side by side. Two half inches, one, two, and then Gradually pull it down, making sure that the lines don't cross. Cinch down the tag in, and it's a very, very, in fact, it wins the knot tying contest at times in some of the uh, really? things. It works better on heavier line, 60 pound and up is the best. Okay. But I've used it on uh, like 200 pound, instead of a crimp, I'll use this knot instead of crimping 200 pound. It's worked yeah. very well for the last six years. For me. Okay, thanks Rob. Just like every trip, Starts right here at the bait barge. One of the most important things is good quality bait. Garden houses requires us to let everyone know where all the life saving equipment is. So uh, life jackets guys are on the outside with the bunk rooms there, the first bunk room, the first bunk on the outboard side there behind the glass black sliding doors. Um, children life jackets are on this side of the boat here on the first bunk in the cruise quarters there. Um, just forward of the bunks there with the life jackets we have fire extinguishers outboard side. There's also two in the galley all the way forward same thing on the outboard side. Bait's looking about like they have been on the last few trips. It's been about this big for the last month. Yeah. Yeah, I think my last three, four trips they've been this size. Yeah. Hey, they they gave us big bait, just like one little stretch. And then out yeah. I had one big bait last trip. I got one big blue fin, <laughs> and the other ones I got at night on the jigs. We went to the, the back, pulled it forward, trying to scare the fish into the net. Got a nice net pull there. Okay, this is how to properly rig according to Rob. I've watched this man catch half the fish on the boat sometimes, so we're gonna see how he does this. 
So we're starting off with 40 pound floral down there. I've got a 100 pound swivel, just the smallest one you could possibly find. Just a simple Palomar for that. Okay, that goes on with the Palomar. Always lube it up, because if you don't, it will burn it. Absolutely. And, and when it's burnt, you're done. It is not gonna hold. Yeah, so I just use this as a V to seat the knot. Because these are big fish and strong, you gotta make sure every one of your knots is solid. Check it, then double check it. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the swivel tied onto the leader. Then I've got a rental rod today because my reel is still being uh, repaired. So you're tying another Palomar here? Yep. Okay. Just you want the double line across the, uh, the swivel so it doesn't break. Okay. Lube it up. Pull it tight. Okay, so the swivel you told me is highly important on this rig. I don't know why, but for some reason the swivel causes a pivot point that causes the bait to really swim much more aggressively. So you're able to get down to depth with a much lighter sinker than you normally would. Normally like if they're at 150 feet, guys will put a six or an eight ounce sinker on. You can get to 150 feet if you've got a good bait that swims with a two to four ounce sinker, believe it or not. The key is when you put the bait on the hook, shoulder hook, nose hook it, lower it in the water and it'll instinctively start swimming down and just follow it almost nearly in free spool and it'll pull the sinker and everything down to that depth and make sure one thing that's really important now for sinker bait fishing just like it is for nighttime jig fishing is mark your line yeah. so you know what this, depth you're at sinker bait fishing yep this is a rental and before we got on the boat yeah. i uh found out i have a little over a hundred feet of mono on it and then I mark the next 200 feet on their braid. And now we'll put a hook on. Jeez, a four. Fours are really strong. We've got small bait, so a lot of it is, is you've gotta have a, a, a hook that doesn't overpower the bait. A lot of times guys will use light line, but they'll put a hook on that's a little too big for the bait, and the bait doesn't swim well. And the swim is important for sinker bait fishing. Using this setup is just as important as for fly line fishing. Yeah. So you want to really be mindful of that and use uh, the lightest, strongest hook you can get away with. Now, the fish that we're going after are going to be 100 pound fish, and believe it or not, this hook with the right drag will kill a 100 pound tuna. Now, the other thing I do is I tie a modified San Diego jam knot. So I don't okay. use rings because I don't need to. So I tie a standard jam. Okay. Okay, so this is the standard. He's tying the standard San Diego jam now. But instead of pulling on the main line, you pull on the tag in to partially cinch it, then you pull it close. And then you lock it down. You snip the tag in, but now what you've got is a fluorocarbon loop. And I've been fishing that for years and it works well. With the fish is, it'll seed it. Right. Okay, so you're good to go. Cool. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. We greatly you appreciate you, that. You're welcome. Now all you need to do is put your rope band on it. I, you I go. got it. I got one. I'm good. good. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good luck. Okay, here we go. First drop of the trip. It's about just about six o'clock in the evening. It's the first fish he's found. We've been looking for him for about three hours now there's this time of year there's no other boats out here fishing so there's nobody to tell them where to go to okay as you guys that have watched my videos before know as I when I go through the blue there's the 300. He, he said 280. I just, I just hit the spot. It's 
Time to come up. I think that's what he said, but he just said wind them up. Okay, for the first drop, seemed pretty good. There was not a big bunch of current. I've got a 300 gram rip roller on. So bring that up here. Should be able to see it. There she is. I've caught, I don't know, a dozen bluefin tuna on it. It's pretty beat up. All right, well, Chef Chris made up some uh, chicken and rice and some stir fried vegetables. How is it, guys? Excellent. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, Chef. Photo worthy. Photo worthy. Yeah, we, we got a couple of them here. And then me being a plain guy, no sauce. You can get special order here, just like Burger King. Uh, better. Way better than Burger King. Okay, here we go. Second drop of the trip. Said so there's a small school underneath us. We don't know what size they are, so I'm using a 300 gram jig. The big ones will hit it, the small ones will hit it. Boat's still sliding forward just a little bit. He said 240, as you guys know. I got 300 on the blue here. So I pass through them without feeling anything. Let's just crank up. Just dropping away here. It caught a little bigger wave than normal there. I thought it a uh, well, Captain just fired up the boat. That means it's time to reel them in. Well, somebody got bit on the back. Don't know <clears throat> what it was on, but looks like everybody's fishing somewhere between 250 and 400 gram jigs. 180 to 340. I'm I know you do. I know you. I promise you, all right? No problem. I saw it was all wrapped up. Thank you. I promise I won't lose your rod. No, I know you won't. We're getting them. He just got bigger. Holy shit. Oh, 
Perfect. Run all the way under, slide under, slide under. You're gonna have to put on your arm, man. I know, I know. I was. But he got way heavier. Good looking fish just came in. I feel something other than a fish here. I got color there. You're gonna follow your line this way, please. I got color. Did what is it? I'm trying. Oh, somebody! I'm on somebody's line. Somebody's lines on me. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Keep fighting this fish right here, sir. I'm trying. Keep pulling that fish, keep pulling on it. You just hold it on, you're not trying to get line at all right now. Keep on it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, here. Let's go to there, let's go to there. What size line do you have? 60. Alright, go ahead and put it in low gear. You should be fishing like 100 right now. Yeah, well, I don't. You, see it? you, you got, got it? Out. Yeah, let go. Try lighter jigs, guys. Try those 200 gram jigs. Here you go. They're up really high, guys. You're bit, you're bit, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put them home, man. <laughs> yeah, butter nugget. Spider. Whew. No way. Turn it up. Keep reeling, buddy. All right, there we go. Thank you, sir. 14.